Hello everyone and welcome back to my RP2000 career in Kerbal Space Program 1.12 with Realism Overhaul. I am here to land on the moon once again. We have a human moon landing contract. Well, I don't have any humans available, so I'll have to use the Kerbals. Uh, so it's going to be a Kerbal moon landing contract. And it's one of the repeater ones because we've already landed on the moon once. But I would like to land where there's ore to just have a sort of flag there. Uh, but it seems like the previous place we landed at with like the topaz unit, you know, the nuclear unit and all, is up here and it's not where the ore is. Uh, I forget if we were paying attention to that at the time, but anyway, it seems like the ore is down here. So I'll especially want to try and hit this belt and maybe one of these craters if we can manage it. If we figure in three days, it'll probably rotate somewhat. <laughs> you know, the moon will rotate somewhat. I think will be in line with those but let's see maybe I'm completely wrong about that but uh, the downside of that is that that's on the opposite side from Earth so yeah we'll have to rely on comms to further develop that we will need our comm sats to really be working otherwise I mean facing Earth uh, there's this Earth over here there's the Earth facing side and we see no indication of ore. So that's the situation, I guess. But landing on the far side does mean that we'll hit a new biome, hopefully. All right, we are in Lunar SOI now, but I don't really see the moon around. Um, where the heck's the moon, though? Oh, there's the moon. OK. Let's see what our situation is regarding the preferred landing spot. Well, as expected, it's getting there. Uh, I'd like to sort of go along this line here if we get that. Um, now, since this is crude for now, it's OK, even though we might have communication problems. But when we eventually establish more of a base there, it's going to be more of a problem. But that's where the stuff is. That's where the stuff is. We could lean towards the South Pole to make it more, quote unquote, real realistic, because that's really where resources are around the moon. Uh, but that could be irritating. <laughs> that could be irritating. We'll see. For now, I'll try and go around here-ish. Okay, we've got plenty of ignitions here. Let's test the engine. Okay, that seems good for now. It's like this at the moment. That is a long burn time. Let me just plot it. Oh, it wanted me to start the burn already. Okay. Okay, let me turn off the purpleness for now. It's busting the mood. Okay, ignition. Okay, we'll just come around at this point and do the rest of the burn. We've captured, but we're getting far away from periapsis. Oh yeah, there's this crater here. Is that crater covered by the ore? That's an easy one to spot because of the darker area there. It's barely sort of in the area. It seems like it doesn't have quite as much. At least it's more faded, so not ideal. Maybe this one over here. Okay, ignition. Okay, we are in a fairly tight orbit now. And I'll wait a little bit so that we are down this line. Okay, I think we'll separate the lander here. And we're going to aim for this crater. But sort of aim long because we've got more possibilities along the way so right there Atkin Basin well I know I haven't landed in Atkin Basin before okay so let's see did I get ship manifest in here still no great <laughs> all right uh, no Where's the spacecraft? There it is. Transfer crew. 
Not transfer crew, and it'll be Val. And I guess we can send our scientist as well. Land 2. Okay, well, plenty of Delta V here. Okay, all our RCS is good. Tough to check the power since we're on the nighttime side. Okay, well, power is good enough for landing. Uh, let's rotate the other way. Okay, now it's balanced and recharging. Oh, why is it not showing Delta V anymore? I think we should wait one orbit before trying that. Definitely needed better RCS. I probably said that last time. Still true this time. Okay, waiting one orbit. Okay, the scent initialization burn. That'll be a low pass. And should be close enough to write over it. Just using this as a reference. Okay. 13 minute burn time. Okay. Here we go. And ignition. We absolutely will have to pitch up. It's too long a burn time. And I'll probably have to throttle down. Well, here we go with Valentina and Bob. I mean, of course, we can't do anything much with the ore right now. We're just going to mark the spot. Well, the target difference marker isn't being super helpful. <laughs> We're going to be further north than expected. Well, at this point, we land where we land, really. We definitely don't have a connection right now. That's our mothership, if you will. Now, going on ahead. Now, we're coming back in line somewhat. Not looking too bad. That's the crater. Still give me the target coordinates. Well, right now the target difference is trivial, but we're continuing to burn. I don't want to pitch up more than this to make it closer, so we gotta get further away. We'll be falling short in this direction, but that's fine. As long as we hit the darker area of the crater, I think I'm happy. Yeah, it's sort of looking like that now. About three kilometers off. Okay, and I'm not gonna try to keep pitching up here. Let's just land. This looks like a flat enough spot. Okay. Coming in. No rotation. Oh no, don't do that, don't, don't, don't do that. Okay, 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 okay. Don't tilt over. All right, we are here. Good. <laughs> uh, we uh, definitely position a satellite in a specific orbit of Europa. Well, that's that's a mission that NASA is doing. Anyway, um, landed. Well, it says orbiting, but I think it's counting the landed time. We have to stay here for a day. Rather than wait the day at the vessel, I'll wait the day in the tracking station, just for safety's sake. It should be in daylight the whole time. Uh, I don't know if it's counting it, though. I guess maybe I'll have to stick with it. And we have lots of supplies here. 
because this is meant to have supplies for four, not just for two. And four for two weeks. So, okay, then the mission is being counted, right? Okay, so that happened. That is checked. Now we have to land or splash down on Earth. But first, of course, EVA time. Uh, they don't have flags yet. Well, the lower... St well, okay. We don't have any sort of marker because lower stage, I'm going to start off lifting us off. I really needed... Well, I'll, remind, I'll just remember this place. Take a surface sample. Keep. EV report. Keep. Can I just leave my chute here? Will it be a marker? <laughs> That'd be a interesting thing to do. Gosh darn it, I can't believe we hadn't unlocked flags. And I assume that if I try to unlock that uh, the astronaut complex now, they won't be carrying the flags with them r right now anyway. Oh well. But yeah, I'll just remember this crater, it's fine. Maybe I can just jetpack. No, nope, seems that way. Oh, okay. Can I go up this? Apparently not. Okay, no, no, don't use your head there. Don't use your head there. Okay, let's just try and use the jetpack again. A board. All right, these ladders need to be fixed a bit. Well, we're here now. That means an inclination correction to get to the ship, which is that one, hopefully. <laughs> well, waiting a day caused the orbit to process like that. So, well, that's to be expected. Okay, it's behind us, right? Okay, so that's what we want. We want the opposite of that. Basically, going westward. Okay, RCS on. And... I mean, shouldn't the engine be active right now? I don't know why it doesn't show the fuel there. Oh, right, it's like that. Whoops. Wrong way, wrong way, this way. Ah, there it is. Eek. Okay, there we go. Alright, staging. Off we go. And we lost the target for some reason. With the Delta V we have left in the command module, or the service module, whatever you want to call it, uh, it can probably do most of the rendezvous stuff as long as this gets to orbit. But we'll use as much as we can from this, because it's not going to be doing anything else. Oh, we're going way too high. Uh... Well, at this point, I'll just make orbit and have the command module slash service module help. Okay, well, that'll correct the inclination and get us sort of nice, especially if we can lower our apoapsis afterwards. Apparently, I left it too high. Okay, and ignition. Okay, that gets us into orbit. We've got 215 left in this. We've corrected most of the inclination. And yeah, now I'll just bring the orbit a little bit further down and maybe we'll actually have an encounter. Okay, well that's a place where we can get to it. We're catching up now. Alright, we have a good close approach distance, so this little lander has managed to hold rendezvous on its own after all. Okay, uh, approaching.
Okay. Let's not make this any hotter than it has to be. Point at it. Okay, and back over here. Negative parallel. Okay, with Earth right there, we have docked and transferring crew. All right, I don't think we need to transfer the supplies or anything. Oh, uh, did we still have the science in here? Well, I, I'm gonna transmit the EVA report. But I want to transfer the science. You know what? I need ship manifest so that I can transfer the science easily. Um, is that? No, that's just those things. All right, I'm gonna sneak that mod in to make it easier. Okay, now with ship manifest in. Let's get this over. We have one little science here and we just want to transfer that over. The both links S Neo spacecraft down under though. But let me see. It's the one we want and it has the stored data. Okay, so we're bringing the surface sample back this time. Very important. Okay. And undock. All three are over here. And we should have enough to get back. Let's make that happen. Okay, this seems like a good periapsis. 807 is an acceptable amount to burn for it. Seems good to me. I suppose I can just crash this into the surface. I don't think we're going to be using it more. I mean, to some extent, I'd like to retrieve it, but... What could I do with it? <laughs> I mean, it's got seven ignitions remaining. I think we'll just crash it. Okay, that'll do that. Everything checked except for landing. So... Just wanted to make sure it wasn't fooling me or anything there. And ignition. Okay, and does that give us what we were expecting? Pretty much. 56 kilometers sounds fine. And off we go. Coming back from the moon. All right, there we go. It's never quite like in the movies because it doesn't go straight out. But anyway, there we are. All right, here we go. It's the nighttime side again. Service module jettison. We are in the atmosphere. Okay, well, I probably should be using descent mode, shouldn't I? Uh, oops. Or not. Maybe not. Oh, well, the docking port always goes, though. Okay, well... Oh, there's more things going. Uh, those are batteries, I think, though. I really need to figure out how to stop the docking port from exploding there. Okay, well, G-forces mean we should roll this way. Yes, let's not have more G limit. Oh no. Val's the only one still conscious. I did not do the descent mode properly. Fortunately, this has a controller inside. Well, the G force meters are no longer filled. And they're steadily regaining consciousness. A little bit rough there. 
Okay, Aerocap Jettison. All right, full parachute deployment. All right. Well, recover vessel. Normal recovery. Well, we got the surface sample, got some funds back, and Val and Bob got to level two because they actually landed on the moon, Bill did not. All right, and we got the money. So mission complete. And we also have a separate sample return mission possible. And that's still under construction. But I think I'll leave it here. Landing on the moon is good enough for one episode, I think. We have some maneuvers to take care of afterwards. And I'll see what is reasonable to do, though. Maybe I should... Oh, the, upgrading the astronaut complex is two million. Two million to get flags is too much. So I'll hold off on that. Uh, I don't think... I'll figure out the research next time. So, so with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.